Finally, we look at how to compute a square root modulo a composite number, n equals p times q. Suppose we wish to compute the square root of a modulo n. We assume we know p and q, and that a really is a square modulo n, which can be checked by demonstrating that parentheses a over p equals parentheses a over q equals 1. We first compute the square root of a modulo p. Call this s sub p. Then we compute the square root of a modulo q. Call this s sub q. Finally, to deduce the square root modulo n, we apply the Chinese remainder theorem to the equations x equals s sub p mod p and x equals s sub q mod q. As an example, suppose we wish to compute the square root of a equals 217 modulo n equals 221 equals 13 times 17. Now the square root of a modulo 13 and 17 is given by s sub 13 equals 3 and s sub 17 equals 8. Applying the Chinese remainder theorem, we find s equals 42. And we can check that s really is a square root by computing s squared equals 42 squared equals 217 mod n. There are three other square roots since n has two prime factors. These other square roots are obtained by applying the Chinese remainder theorem to the three other equations. s sub 13 equals 10 comma s sub 17 equals 8 s sub 13 equals 3, s sub 17 equals 9, s sub 13 equals 10, s sub 17 equals 9. Hence all four square roots of 217 modulo 221 are given by 42, 94, 127, and 179. Section 4, Probability. Actually, I'll pick up with that in another video. Thank you.